Happy Father's Day, everybody. Today, I wanna to go through everything I carry in my pack on a normal mountain bike ride as a Nika mountain bike coach. And I want you to stick around to the end because I'm gonna tell you how you can win one of these Magic Shine 906 bike lights. We just went on a night ride with these and you're gonna be blown away at how cool it is. It actually has a permanent place in my pack. Let's jump right in and show you all of the things that we take. I wanna start off with first aid because Christine and I just finished our wilderness first aid training from Sierra Rescue. In fact, I carry with me their first aid manual in my pack. The Sierra Rescue wilderness first aid training course was like 16 hours. It was so helpful. Those guys put on a really good course and we just did lots of scenarios for multiple days, practicing, diagnosing, and triaging all of the various types of wounds and sicknesses that we might encounter when we're out in the backcountry. My Sierra Rescue first aid booklet is the first thing that goes in my pack. Okay, next, I always carry a SAM splint. Now, if you haven't seen these, they're like aluminum covered in foam. You can make collars out of these. You can make splints for arms and legs. Anytime we have to immobilize the neck, we use one of these. This is a really nice and big one. It can be used for lots of things. In fact, I've even had to use one of these on one of our rides. So from now on, I absolutely carry that with me every time. I carry a little bit of gauze tape as well as an ace bandage. So we can put those on top of any other wound that we might encounter. Uh, then I carry as well with me these Tegaderm strips. Now, if you haven't seen these, these are super cool. So these are just little bandages. It's called Tegaderm. Uh, it's a transparent film dressing. It keeps the bacteria out, but allows your wound to breathe a little bit. And I have been using these ever since I learned about them and I absolutely love them. So that goes in. Now, I do carry all of my first aid stuff in a Ziploc baggie. I know that's probably not the best way, but that's the way I do it. So I'm gonna put all my stuff in there. Another thing I always carry with me that I learned in the Sierra Rescue course are panty liners. So these are really good at absorbing blood. Anytime I've got a really big wound, I can just put these directly on whatever wound I have, put that direct pressure, and it will hopefully stop the bleeding as quickly as I can. So I always carry one of those. Next thing, I have one of these syringes that'll let me shoot water to clean out wounds. And I really like having that because sometimes you need a little water pressure. I carry a handful of antibiotic ointments just to sterilize different wounds. I also have these iodine prep pads, kind of does the same type of thing. These are the 3M Steri strips. So I have a handful of those. I probably have more than I need, but they, they take up such little space. I'll throw them in there. These are the Applicare one compound benzoin tincture, <laughs> tincture swab stick. And these just help us prepare various wounds and sterilize as well. So I carry some of those with me. All right, what else am I missing? Okay, I learned my lesson in a really recent ride to always have a pair of tweezers. Now, I, these are just generic tweezers. They're a little big. I don't love these because they're not actually uh, sharp enough and exact enough at the tip. And these are really good, especially if you're riding in desert country with a lot of cacti. Uh, good splinter remover as well as cactus needle removers. One of the last things I always carry is a solar blanket. If you have never used one of these, they're really just kind of like a little bit of tin foil almost that wraps around you. Uh, they're not very durable. They don't last more than usually one or two uses, probably more than one use. They're for emergencies, but they do radiate your heat back at you. So if you're in a cold scenario, this is a way to keep yourself warm in a, in a pinch. And that really covers most of my first aid. When I went through the Wilderness First Aid course, they actually gave us a list that's probably about five or 10 more things longer than this to carry in my first aid kit. I don't carry everything with me every time. One thing they told us to carry that I don't have yet is a tourniquet. One of these tourniquets that automatically, first of all, lets you uh, Velcro strap everything on and then it has a little cincher that you can spin and Velcro in place and it even allows for you to write the time of whenever you put that tourniquet on. All of those are really great things to have. I just don't have my first aid kit fully built out. Pro tip for you, if you want a really frugal way of building a first aid kit, get an entire team together and buy a lot of these things in bulk. 
uh, on Amazon or Walmart or wherever you might find and then split these things out amongst your whole team. That's what we did. It ended up costing us about $20 a person or less and we got a lot more bang for our buck and we got exactly the things that we were hoping to get and not a generic first aid kit that you would have bought from the store. Next up, I want to talk about one more thing that I do for safety. This is a new tool that I am packing in my pack from now on. I have learned my lesson. This is the Magic Shine 906S bike light. It is, it is powerful, it is multifunctional, and it is an absolute necessity in my pack. We do a lot of our practices in the evening and we go right up until dusk. If anything were to go wrong, we would get caught in the night and having light on us is really important. Now I used to carry a headlamp and I won't carry it anymore because I think this is too useful. First of all, this floodlight provides 4,500 lumens. I can ride almost full speed with this bike light because it lights up the entire trail. On top of that, it also serves as a backup battery. So I can charge my phone and other devices right on this battery pack. We've had a couple scenarios on our team where we've actually needed to go back out in the moonlight. One example, a kid lost his phone. We've had a couple people take wrong turns and we've had to send out search parties. Being able to have a light and not worry about getting caught in the dark has been really, really helpful. Not to mention, you can be seen for a long ways away. So if you're trying to find somebody and they're trying to find you, having a light in the night super helpful. Go out and check out the Magic Shine Father's Day sale going on right now. And if you want to win one of these bike lights for yourself, all you have to do today is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. Tell me how you would use one of these Magic Shine lights on your bike in your next expedition. And I'll choose a winner next week as a Father's Day gift to get one of these for free. In fact, Ryan and I took these bike lights out the other night and had ourselves a fun father and son night ride. Okay guys, we have here our Magic Shine. This is the 906S bike light. This is a brand new light from Magic Shine and it has 4,500 lumens. This is how this rides. You just Velcro the battery pack right here to your top tube and then this goes on a nice quick lock mount. So you just put the mount on your handlebars. It gets a little, <laughs> it gets a turn, locks in and then you long press, turn it on you can see that I'm on and then it has a couple different settings. By pressing it, it just keeps getting brighter and brighter. It's just about dark enough for our ride. Ryan's got his light on already. Put Ryan's light on his helmet tonight. Because we were one bar mount short. Here comes Ryan. Just to give you an idea how light, how bright this light is. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Nice and bright, huh? Okay, so we'll do a before and after. So there's Ryan, kind of riding in the dark. And this is my light. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pretty helpful, isn't it? Yeah. So Ryan and I rode all the way to the top at sunset. Oh wow. Maybe you shouldn't look right at me. <laughs> it's too much light. There's a little bit of daylight left out here, but when we get into the woods, it gets dark, huh, Ryan? It really does. What'd you think about riding up here? What'd you think about riding up here in the dark? That was pretty insane. You liked it? Yeah. So Ryan and I are gonna turn around. We've ridden two miles. So two miles back down, all the way through the dark in the woods. I'll meet you at the bottom. Okay, just to show you what, our before and after is like one more time. So this is bike light on, and it's got dim, dim, and brighter. There's four levels of brightness. And so with all that, we are going to bomb this one down and get a good little ride in. Oh man, that's wild. Definitely not going as fast as I normally go. Is that my sight, my vision is just limited just a little bit. I can't see out quite as far as I'd like to. But I can see a lot. Woo! Okay. Maybe going a little too fast. Tight little turn on that one. Okay, let's get rowdy. 
Ryan. I see you, Ryan. Keep going, bud. I'm right behind you. Woo! And that's it. That's all she wrote. Right through here, Ryan. And then come get my bike, would you? How was that? That was insane. Did you have a good time? Yes. You were going pretty fast. I felt like it. I thought I was going to catch you faster and I didn't. Okay, just a few more things that I carry with me in my pack. I carry a lot of food just in case somebody gets a little hungry. There are a lot of health problems that you can run into just from not having enough food. We have run into these, so I carry a Cliff Bar, maybe some fruit snacks. I have a liquid IV, some protein bars, just enough food. Whatever works good in my pack fits well, doesn't get crunched up. I just make sure I have a few things and I rotate these out every couple weeks. As far as bike tools go, I always have a spare tube, a patch kit. This is a tubeless patch kit with the bacon strips and the bacon strip applicator. And I know that sounds funny, but this just lets you take one of these rubber strips, shove it in the hole of the tire. And when you pull it out, it stays in there and plugs the hole so that the tubeless sealant will do the rest of the work for you. I also carry this Topeak multi-tool and I'll include the link to this in the description. I love this one. It's got a chain break and all the other tools I might need as well as a bike pump. I don't love this one, so it's just the one that I have. So I will uh, not leave you the link for this one potentially, but get yourself a pump. It's, you need to have one on the trail. And the last thing I carry with me at all times is my rain jacket. And this is a nice packable rain jacket that I found at Sierra Trading Post one year. And so I can get it to be about the size of the palm of my hand and it packs really nicely in my pack. What is my pack of choice? This has been changing regularly. I've tried the hip straps. I've tried buying used things off of Facebook. I found this deal at Owl's Sporting Goods the other day. This is the Raptor 14 from Osprey. I've had my eye on this one for a long time and it went on sale. It's normally $150 or something and it was on sale for $60. So this is my new pack. It has two and a half liter bladder. It's got multiple places to pack quick access to walkie talkies and other things that I do take on every trail ride. Perhaps one of the coolest things that I love about this is that it's got a nice little spot for tools. So when I hang this on my handlebars or off of a tree, this whole thing just flips out and I've got all of my bike tools that unfold like that. So I have like a mobile workstation to cover whatever bike maintenance thing that I'm doing. And we come across these in almost every ride. Just this last week, we had a kid who snapped a chain link, right? So we needed to replace the chain and, uh, or at least a chain link on the trail. We've had people get injured. We've had, you know, all sorts of emergencies happen in the backcountry. Going back to my Boy Scout roots, I like to be prepared. There's a lot of confidence that comes in knowing that you can take care of yourself and others when you're out having fun doing some of these riskier types of activities. So that's my pack in a nutshell. I'm gonna get this all packed up back into my bag. I wanna thank Magic Shine for providing a free bike light to my subscribers for today's video. Go check them out for their Father's Day sale and see if you can get yourself your own bike light so that you can enjoy a night ride or have some really good backup lighting for when you get stuck out in those woods. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. We'll see you guys next time.